Hi, welcome to the Ala F75 software video. You want me to teach you something? What's up guys, Sausek here. Hope your day is going well. So today we'll be going through the Ala F75's software. I'm sure you already know what this keyboard sounds like because you're watching this video, but for the fun of it. Ooh. Anyway, let's get started. So Apple Maker has the links for the download on their website. The link will be in the description for this Ala F75 driver. They do have other softwares for other keyboards. So if you have a different Apple Maker keyboard, check their website, the software might be there. The setup process is really simple. You just click that Windows button and then it downloads. It's a zip file, you have to extract it and then save it. Enter that folder and then run the program. This is it downloading. After you finish the setup process, going through all the steps and selecting what folders you want them to go into, you can finish and run the application. You do have to plug in your keyboard to the PC, computer, and also to the keyboard using the USB-C cable. That unlocks the application and now you're ready to customize your keyboard the way you want to use it. You can change the FN1, FN2 tab and the default to any of those things at the bottom. So the keyboard function or a mouse function, multimedia function, macros if you know how to use macros, or commands and key combinations too. You do have to click that save button on the bottom right in order to flash it to the keyboard. This right here is the general information about the keyboard, what version you're on and other things. Next, let's look at the lighting. You can customize what lighting you want with all the different effects. On this page, you can create macros. You can import them as files. Comment below if you want me to make a video on macros and to enhance your productivity. Now let's take a look at the keyboard light effects when they're sound. I think this is pretty cool. And to change the functionality of the volume knob click or volume up, volume down, you can use Windows Power Toys. You have to go to the keyboard manager, then keys, and you have to remap a key. This is how you would change it from volume mute to play pause. If you wanted to remap it to do something else, you can change it from volume mute or play pause to something else. It's a really simple process. And if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.